Tuesday morning. Thanks for tuning in. Well, if you've ever found yourself suddenly cooking after a breakup, a breakout, or becoming a new parent, or inviting friends over when the only thing you've ever used in the kitchen was a toaster, well, our next guest will help you develop your cooking skills, starting with just tomatoes, cheese, and basil. Please welcome to the circle kitchen straight from Barcelona. Hola, Sophie Ruggles. <laughs> I'd like to say that I have my mischievous uh, co-host here, Colin Lane. Last time we were in the kitchen together, it was a disaster. It was not. Because he it tried to take over Sophie. It oh. turned out quite well. You have the best name, Sophie Ruggles. Yes. It's like a little cartoon character. Yeah. G'day, Ruggles. Hello. <laughs> now, you live in Barcelona, which is a little bit up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to teach us today, particularly Colin Lane, you need to take note of this. That we're yes, ma'am. We're going to be using <laughs> mozzarella, tomatoes and basil and you're going to create a whole range of dishes just from those. Yep. I think that for a lot of people it's a bit overwhelming every day to have to put food on the table and have to imagine what they're going to make. Mm -hmm. But you can also think about it in terms of what have I got in the fridge or what's in season. And at the moment tomatoes are coming into season so I thought we'll do that and we'll Beautiful. see what we can make out of it. Well why don't you boss us around and tell us what All to right, do. Great. That is of course if you've got something in the fridge other than a 22 year old man who's just got butter and six beers. <laughs> yes. Really. It's pretty well, you hard. might have to go to the shop. It's pretty hard to make a salad okay. out of that. <laughs> But. Oh, no, we can try. Anyway, we're going to, first of all, you're going to make the pesto. Okay. Which is a green pesto sauce, and we'll show you how you can use that for a whole lot of different things. You're just going to toast these for a little very while. Very experienced uh, chef that you are. You just put your hands in hot pans. You That's know. Kind of I know bizarre. it's on a very low flame, you see, so I have asbestos hands. I can. Okay, all right. Asbestos hands. So just keep an eye on them so they don't burn. Okay. Okay. And, and what um, are we doing, so? I think I'll get you making a uh, quesadilla. So I might put you here. Quesadilla. Put you here? Okay. All right. Now, great. your book's fabulous because it's all about. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just keeping an eye on them. All right. <laughs> no, that's good. You keep an eye on it. Um, now, your book is called Suddenly Cooking, and it's focusing on making it less daunting, isn't it? So, yeah. like we said, if you're suddenly single and your daughter's just left home to moving to London, she's taken your cookbook as she's a little... She's become a nanny, so she has to cook every day. And, yeah. Baby, how good is that? I'll take Mum's cookbook with Yeah, me. yeah, I'm so glad that I finished it in time. Yeah. Look at that. It's I know, I'm quite impressed. I'm, I'm impressing That's myself. That's very good. It's quite easy to do for me, but um, I'm impressing myself. <laughs> okay, I'll get you to slice these very finely. Oh, no, okay. Do you know how to do that? Now, yeah. curl your fingers. I know, I, I can't really do the finger curl Let, let me show you. It's like this. So you stay away from the knife, basically. Oh, okay. And then just, just so d dicing or just finely sliced? No, we'll just, just like slice it, yeah, because we're going to put it inside the piece <laughs> Doing. Can you, are they ready? It's, this, this, is, this is what's commonly called upstaging. Yeah. <laughs> this sort of thing here is about me. Okay, sure. Thank Absolutely. You. Yeah, you're pregnant. I think they might be ready. I can smell them. Can you smell them? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, when watch, you can smell them, can they're ready. Can you control your nuts, please? <laughs> <laughs> no worries. So they just, are burning, actually. That's ironic. <laughs> <laughs> so just put them in the bowl because if you sure. keep them in the pan any longer, they'll oh. keep cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's always a disaster when we get together in the kitchen, I tell you, every time. My <laughs> mum gave me a book when I first moved out of home, it was called Cooking for One, because she thought it would be a really nice idea for me to have a book of, you know, simple recipes. Yeah. But then I found that most of the recipes were just soups and easily digestible casseroles and stuff like that. Right. And then I realised it was Cooking for One if you're quite elderly. <laughs> um, that's, the, that's the book that she bought me. Right. Didn't work out that well. <laughs> Um, so Should not I be man. doing something else? I think, that's, I think that's heaps, actually. No, I think you can turn off the flame. Okay, turn off the flame. Okay. okay. And what else do we do? I think we're going to have to go soon, so, so. You, you have to layer these in here and put a bit of mozzarella on. Yep. Oh, look Just at that. Just tear mozzarella. it up. We're going to heat this pan up. So what I'll get you to I'm do is... I'm putting some basil yeah, and pine nuts in here. As, as much as A little can. bit of pinch of salt and some cheese. Yep. And some olive oil. Yep. And that's that a mozzarella? very simple little pesto duvalaki. Yep. Can I just show you how fresh this mozzarella is? Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh. Oh. oh, Colin Lane. We're back in the kitchen with Sophie and Colin Lane. We're using fresh ingredients, basil, mozzarella and tomatoes and creating so many dishes with them, Sophie. Yep. Well, now, we didn't really get to what we meant to be doing last time because Colin was distracting us. I'm going to put my chef's hat on now and get a bit bossy, I have to say. Okay, okay so just to recap what we did last time, uh, Jodie, this is your quesadilla, which is just the three ingredients Beautiful. between two flour tortillas and lightly toasted on either side. Is this the end result? That's the end result. Yum. This is my caprese salad, which, as you can see, is just the three ingredients on a plate with a bit of mould and sea salt oh. and some olive oil. Beautiful fresh and, produce. Yeah, and Colin's wonderful pesto here. It actually didn't look like that when Colin did it. Which is just... No, I hadn't mixed it yet. 
yet, but the, while we were talking to Lenore, I was mixing uh, under the under the table. Just, uh, yes, yeah, well, it's actually, it it's actually blended in the robot, to tell you the truth. In okay. the robot? Yes. So what we're going to do... Sorry, I just wanted to ask you about the tomatoes, because I was in uh, Italy recently. Oh, hang on, sorry, and, um, I'll just pick up that name. <laughs> yeah, I was in... <laughs> Italy uh, recently uh, the, they rave about the tomatoes in Italy can we get this because these look like fantastic tomatoes can you get Italian style tomatoes in Australia I think the thing is you need to buy things when they're in season right and don't refrigerate your tomatoes whatever you do because it's immediately draining all the nutrients and the flavor out of them keep them on the bench yep keep them in the Sun and eat them keep them in the Sun yeah keep them in the Sun to really? ripen yeah and it's on the kitchen oh. sill or something like that and Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's so a good tip. Yeah. Good. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to get you to do is do this, and okay. as you can see, you've got the three Lovely. things. So just compile. These are one bite wonders. Great for when you're having a party. I what think they've got called? some festival or one something. One bite wonders. Yeah. One bite wonders. Yeah. <laughs> one bite wonders. Cocktail skewers, you know. Um, so and I'll get you putting this together. So which this is, is Cole's pesto. That's right. And this is just cooked penne pasta. Pesto. So if you just tuned in, pesto is so easy. It's it Fresh super basil, simple. pine nuts, bit of parmesan, bit of oil. Yeah, super, super simple, especially if you haven't got much experience in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those things that's really easy to make. Now, while we do it, and then you just want me to dump this stuff in as well? Well, actually, if you finish that dish off, that is one meal. Yeah. And if you have leftovers and the next day you don't want to eat the same thing, this is a leftover makeover, and you can just add a few more ingredients. Take it to work, and you've got a different salad. Because what I love about your book, Sophie, is you've got a whole section called leftovers, which is fabulous, particularly yeah. for families. So where did the concept of the book come from? Well, a couple of years ago, um, my mother-in-law passed away unexpectedly, and uh, my 70-year-old father-in-law had to fend for himself in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So there we were, using my first book, Eat GST Free, as a base, um, to teach him how to get around the kitchen. And what I quickly discovered was that he needed much more than just a bunch of great recipes. He actually needed to know how to chop. He needed to know how to identify ingredients in the mm -hmm. supermarket, how to shop. Because uh, that's what it's all about, yeah. it's the confidence. Because a lot of people are a bit like uh, hammering in nails. For me, I've got no confidence whatsoever. But cooking, you just need somebody to come in and go, no, you're allowed to get your hands dirty and this is how to Absolutely. chop and prepare something. <laughs> Absolutely. And the tips as well that you've got on What do you say? I misheard you and I thought you were talking about biting your nails in the kitchen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hammering nails. Sorry. No, I don't bite my nails in the kitchen. Now, you've got a fabulous competition too, Soph. Tell yeah. us about that. Well, when you're learning to cook, Often there are a few disasters in the kitchen, maybe funny yeah. things happen, etc. etc. So I've got a kitchen calamities competition. And Calamity, isn't that a great name? <laughs> Chrissy Swan loves the musical Calamity Jane. Well, you just log on to my website, <laughs> suddenlycooking.com. Yeah. Fill in the form, 200 words or less, tell us your story, and I'm giving two free books away every month for the next year. So hang on, you get rewarded basically for stuffing for, up. Yes, absolutely. Because that's gold. Anybody, oh. anybody who doesn't admit to stuffing up in the kitchen isn't telling the truth. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> They're not keeping it real. I still do it. So yeah. I've got a competition called uh, Life Calamities, uh, just oh, when yeah. you're stuffed up in life, uh, yeah. and then you, you win stuff. From, what do you from, win? From, from, <laughs> you win uh, a packet of holiday cigarettes. <laughs> So, if you just so you know, we're always as professional on this show. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> um, well, if you can't have fun in the kitchen, well, there's something wrong. Exactly. With you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sophie. Look at these little uh, white, white, Beautiful. white, Wonderful. Look white, at mine. white bite wonders. Cole? That's very Great. attractive. Thank very you. nice. Very Beautiful nice. Beautiful work. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's the cherry tomato eater. <laughs> Get it? Hey, we are here with Sophie Ruggles, who has made the most amazing spread mm -hmm. out of three ingredients. Yeah. A salad, pasta salad, pizza, quesadilla. Quesadilla. A little delicious salad. thing there. Yeah. And what is this? Pan con tomate. This is a traditional um, dish in Spain. Pan with garlic, uh, oil, mm. squash tomato and salt. It's absolutely Fantastic. Delightful. And the recipes are online, but this is your book. Yep. It is a great book and really worth getting, particularly if you're not particularly fabulous mm. in the kitchen. So thank you so much Pleasure. for coming thank in. You. And thank you to Colin Ray. Thank you so much for having me. Thank if you. we promise not to sing any more 80 songs, will you come back tomorrow? Absolutely not. Excellent. <laughs> check in the art. Tomorrow we're going to check in with adventurer Seb Terry, who skydived naked, run with the bulls and even delivered a baby while travelling. We'll find out what he's up to next. Plus, foreign correspondent Peter Lloyd tells us about his time in a Singapore jail. Posey Graham Evan joins us and we'll also get the midweek movie fix with Mark Fennell. We'll see you tomorrow at 10. Woo!